This is the Industrial Patch Test Kit, a complete solution for field-based collection and analysis of hydrocarbon-based hydraulic fluids, bulk chemicals, boiler water, and lubricating oils. Generic operating instructions are included in the kit. It is recommended to consult your regulatory method for specific details. Let's take a look at all the components provided in this kit. The kit includes the following. A fluid color guide for methods requiring colorimetric analysis, Petri slides, a stainless steel hand vacuum pump, five micron 47 millimeter MCE membrane filters. Note to check your method to ensure these filters meet its requirements. Other filter pore sizes and materials may be ordered separately. 120 milliliter PVC sample collection bottles are also inside. In addition to the 47 millimeter membranes, the kit also includes 25 millimeter MCE membranes, forceps, a wash bottle with a 25 millimeter Swinix filter holder. And finally, this is the patch test filtration apparatus. To prepare the filter for rinse solvent, first unscrew the two sections of the 25 mm Swinix filter holder. Inside the filter holder is a stainless steel back pressure screen with a sealing gasket to ensure proper sealing. Use forceps to center a 25 mm white filter disc on the perforated plastic support in the lower section of the filter holder. Reassemble the filter holder with the stainless steel screen on top of the filter. Remove the plastic cap from the spout of the wash bottle and twist on the 25mm Swinex filter holder previously prepared onto the spout. Fill the wash bottle with the proper solvent for the hydraulic fluid as recommended by your method. Make sure the solvent is compatible with the filters being used. Replace the wash bottle cap. Insert the spout cap to prevent spillage when storing the wash bottle. To assemble the test filtration apparatus, First insert the blunt end of the forceps into the cutout slot and pry against the flask rim to remove the filter holder assembly from the vacuum filtration flask. Remove and invert the holder assembly and install it on the flask making sure it's resting evenly against the flask rim. Remove the red cap from the wash bottle. Cover the vent hole in the solvent dispenser cap with your fingertip and squeeze the bottle to wash down the inner surfaces of the funnel. Make sure to use enough solvent to wash all the contaminants into the flask. To install the test filter, first remove the funnel from the test filter holder by turning the blue ring from right to left until it's free and then lift. With your forceps, center a 47 millimeter white test filter disc on the wire mesh support screen. Replace the funnel and retighten the blue ring to seal the filter in place. Now let's prepare the filter holder for vacuum filtration by attaching the syringe vacuum pump. First, remove the red protective cap. The free end of this black tube is fitted with a small nylon adapter. Insert this adapter firmly into the small hole on the side of the filter holder base. The tube and adapter are normally left attached to the syringe for storage, but it can be removed for cleaning if needed. Now rinse the inside of a sample collection bottle with filtered solvent and discard the used solvent. Fill the sample collection bottle to the shoulder point with the test fluid and cap securely. To filter the test sample, first shake the sample bottle and empty the contents into the funnel by pouring against the funnel walls to distribute the fluid evenly over the surface of the filter. Next, draw vacuum inside the flask by working the syringe plunger until the level of the fluid in the funnel begins to drop. To rinse the sample bottle, fill it one-third full with filtered solvent, shake thoroughly, and pour the solvent into the funnel. Operate the syringe again if necessary, but do not allow the level of the fluid to drop to the filter surface before the final rinse step. When the sample level in the funnel drops to the narrow neck of the funnel, rinse the inner surface of the funnel with the solvent dispenser. Do not let the solvent stream directly strike the test filter. Continue filtration until all the fluid has passed through the filter. Remove the funnel, leaving the filter in place, and inspect the filter surface. If the central area of the filter is pink and showing insufficient rinsing, replace the funnel and rinse solvent against the funnel walls until the fluid reaches the top of the funnel's neck. Work the syringe again to draw all the fluid through the filter. 
Remove the test filter with forceps and place it face up in a Petri slide device. Let the filter dry completely in still air before replacing the Petri slide cover. Additional Petri slides are available for purchase. Use the fluid color guide for methods requiring calorimetric analysis to compare the filter's appearance against a standard to determine the contaminant level. If your method requires gravimetric or microscopic analysis, label the Petri slides and send them to your lab.